My training to be a fashion designer began with the resources that I had around me. Um, my grandmother is a huge resource because she was raised in, in an era where it was common practice to make your garments and when garments aren't being mass produced and they're made individually uh, there's a lot more detail that goes into it. There are a lot of things that a lot of corners that are cut out when you're mass producing things for the masses. So a lot of quality craftsmanship and a lot of quality techniques um, that are what made clothes of of uh, previous decades so phenomenal are just not seen anymore. So you don't, you're not necessarily taught those certain skills in um, a sewing class that you may take at a large retailer. You really have to go to the people that still have that trade close to their heart because they did it on a daily basis. When, when you pick up a book or you take a class to make clothes, They'll teach you certain techniques, but they may not be the best techniques. They may just be the best techniques that are easiest to communicate and uh, easiest for people to pick up on. But there may be other techniques that uh, individuals have used or have been taught or have been passed down. Particularly in certain cultures, they have certain techniques that are really amazing and you only see them within those cultures. So I've worked with three different seamstresses, all of which had very different styles and all of them taught me very individual things that I'd never seen in a book or anywhere else. So um, the training really begins in, in having the passion to go outside of the norm. Also, I mean, definitely reading in the books and taking the classes is valuable, but realizing that if you want to be something extraordinary, you've got to step out of the ordinary realm. You have to use every resource that's available to you. So if you want to train to be a fashion designer, you have to put yourself out there.